Hello, my name is Robert Brill. I'm a fibromyalgia advocate and doctoral candidate in health psychology, and this is my fibromyalgia podcast series. Today I'd like to discuss detoxifying with disease and chronic illness. Detoxing is the removal of toxic materials in the blood from the body, cleansing and nourishing the body from the inside out. We produce toxins naturally every day, and we ingest them from the environment. Modern science suggests that toxins contribute to many diseases and promote dis-ease in general. It's also suspected that a high level of toxins promote fatigue in general. Detoxing is really the process of bringing your system back to normal. Sometimes detoxing is called cleansing. <clears throat> detoxing is suggested to aid skin problems, digestive issues, pain and fatigue, etc. Even weight loss. A detoxing program will likely produce, promote significant weight loss initially for some. All detoxing is temporary and should not become a lifestyle unless it's simply eliminating unhealthy foods or toxins from the environment. Detoxing can also simply be an elimination diet where you stop eating a specific food like sugar, for example. When we suffer from disease, it's important to detox more frequently than a healthy person for a few reasons. First, because we already suffer from disease and toxins can exacerbate our symptoms. Second, because most of us with disease lead an alternative lifestyle that promotes the accumulation of toxins. And third, because often we take medications and supplements that promote an accumulation of toxins that inhibit our wellness. The process of regular metabolism produces toxins that need to be eliminated from the body. The liver and kidneys are the two organs most responsible for detoxing in the body. But the intestines, lungs, lymph glands, and skin also eliminate toxins. There are many environmental factors that contribute to an increase in toxins. There are also numerous ways to remove toxins from the body like electromagnetic methods, herbal methods, and other supplements that have detoxifying effects and through your diet. I'll only discuss the natural ways to detox here. <clears throat> While some experts may argue that dietary detoxing may provide little or no health benefits, other experts argue that it's beneficial, especially with illness. Dr. Peter Bennett suggests that detoxing helps with resting the organs through fasting, stimulating the liver to drive toxins from the body, promoting elimination through the intestines, kidneys, and skin, improving circulation of the blood, and refueling the body from healthy nutrients. Can you detox without detoxing? By simply controlling what you consume, you can eliminate many nutritional toxins that affect your health, like eliminating alcohol, caffeine, nicotine, white sugars, saturated fats, or processed foods. The use of many chemicals in daily life can also increase toxins in the body. So when should we detox? Many experts suggest detoxing once a year for the average person, once every quarter for those with disease or chronic illness. So how do we detox? Exercise promotes sweating, and sweating is a natural detoxing process. This is the best way to detox, in my opinion. You should shower right after exercising or excessive sweating so that your body doesn't reabsorb the sweat toxins through the skin, and you should ask your physician if you're in this group. Juicing or liquid-only diets can help initially during a detox process, but again, you have to ask your doctor if you're okay with this because juicing is not healthy for everybody. Reducing stress is important for anyone, but especially important with disease since we typically have more stress and stress promotes an increase in cortisol. Meditation can help to relax the system, which will produce less toxins through natural bodily processes. How long to detox? A good start is two weeks, but in just a few days will produce results. There are tons of detoxing diets or programs available today. Some have no medical merit while others do. There's no need to go buy anything over-the-top expensive to detox. You can also follow complex diet programs if you like. You're very likely to feel a bit different or a little off during a detox, which can be unpleasant. And sometimes people will just feel sick, but it usually is short and doesn't last very long. The more water you drink, the better you are setting your body up for the right environment, especially during a detox. There are some natural detoxifying foods that you can add to your diet, like lemons, garlic, turmeric, beets, apples, radishes, artichokes, broccoli, seaweed, and fiber, and many more. Some herbs are natural detoxifiers like dandelion root, burdock, green tea, flax seed, and milk thistle. And taking glutathione as a supplement can aid in detoxing. 
If there is one season not to detox, it would be the winter, since your body cleanses less often and less naturally during that period. How foods help detox. Artichoke increases bile production in the liver, which promotes removal of toxins and help the kidney remove toxins too. Beets contain iron, magnesium, zinc, calcium, vitamin B3, B6, and vitamin C, and beta carotene. All of those help detox. Broccoli sprouts contains phytochemicals and sulforaphane, which aid in detoxing. Dandelion contains many detoxing minerals and phytonutrients, cleanses the digestive tract, and supports the liver. Flaxseed is a superfood fiber that eliminates toxins from the intestinal tract. Garlic is an antiviral, an antiseptic, and an antibiotic that helps reduce natural toxins. Lemon aids in, aids in toxic excretion, especially in the morning. Seaweed absorbs toxins from the digestive tract, are full of most minerals, and can help alkalize the blood. Thank you.